Welcome to Naresh I Technologies. Uh, this is Ram Chandar. In this video, I am going to talk about one more special block at class level that is constructor. If you want to write some specific logic in Java language, we are always choose one special block that is constructor. Now, constructor is one special block at class level at class level the syntax of the constructor is same as a class name same as a class name the name of the constructor is same as class name for example if i am taking one class like student the constructor of the student class is what student only for example i am writing one class like a student in the student class if you want to write the constructor then we should write student here then we should write student here now what is the meaning of constructor constructor is one class special block at a class level for what purpose it is going to be hold one specific logic what is specific logic i will tell you one specific logic so, the name of the constructor is same as what here? Class name. For example, if the class is student, the constructor name is what here? Student. If the class is a public, the constructor name is what? Uh, the, if the class is a, a bank, the constructor of the bank class is what again? Bank itself. Now, this is what, what is constructor? And why constructor? Very simple guys. Why constructor means? If you want to assign non if you want to initialize the non static variable meanwhile of object creation with the different values, then we need to choose constructor concept. What is that constructor? It is used to initialize the non static non static or instance variables. Meanwhile of object creation, meanwhile of object creation with with different values, with different values, then we need to choose constructor concept. That is the main intention of constructor. So why we need to initialize? Why we need to initialize non-static variables at a constructor level only? If you initialize the non-static variables at the class level what is the problem what is the main why we need to choose why we need to choose the constructor means this is the reason to use the the main intention of the constructor is to initialize the non static variables and at what level a special block level that is what constructor if you are initializing the non static variables at a class level what type of problems we are going to be face what type of problems we are going to be face so let me write a sample code then you can be able to understand for example i am writing one class like account one class like account i am taking one non static variable account number why i am taking account number as a non static variable the reason is different customers having different account holders having different different account number for example my account number is like this after that every account having account holder name account holder name equal to here i am writing like uh, ram now observe here for this class i am creating two objects for this class i am creating two objects for example the first object is here i am creating the first object let me write one coding here account obj1 equal to new account account obj1 equal to new account already we discussed in the previous videos whenever we creating an object automatically automatically non static loading phase and non static initialization phase will be executed in the non static loading phase automatically 
what happened non static variables are loading like uh, account uh, account number initial value is what zero and after that account holder name account holder name initial value default value like what here null now in the non static initialization phase zero value will be replaced with what 1 2 3 4 5 Six eight whatever the account number I am giving that one. After that null will be replaced with what Ram here. So I am creating one object with the support of this object. All the non-static loading variables are loading as well as what uh, initialized. Okay, good. Uh, in this time not a problem. Only one object. Let me take one more object. Here object nothing but what different customers in the real world. OBJ one is one customer and OBJ two is what here one more customer. I am creating one more object new account new account. Now here I am whenever we writing like this again again what happen same concept will be rises. Let me change my color for more clarity. Yes one more object is created in the one more object what happen first non static variables are loading. What is one non static variable account number and fill it with a zero and account account holder name like what null. After that, the zero will be replaced with what one two three four five six eight as well as one more thing is what null value replaced with the ram. Now non static loading phase and initialization phase successfully happen. So zero will be replaced with one two something, and null will be replaced with what here ram. So will you please observe? If you take this example as real time example, then we are facing one major problem in this. What is the major problem? Customer one account number is what one two three four five six eight, and customer one account holder name is what ram, and as well as account holder two customer two. In this in this particular. Scenario also account number is what one two three four five six eight and account holder name is what Ram. Observe here, is it possible in the real world? Both the customer having the same account number? No. Maybe there may be a chance account holder name is same, but what about the account number? Definitely not same. Definitely not same. Account numbers must and should be unique. Account numbers must and should be unique. But in this particular scenario, what happened? Both are having what here same account number. Both are having what same account number. Let me show you whether it is programmatically correct or not. Any compile time error or as well as any uh, runtime exception or uh, anything else. Let me check. No, no. For uh, developing the program on top of this one, let me take one notepad. Here I am taking one class like. Uh, Account in the account class, I am taking one variable like uh, long long account number. I am writing like one two three four five six eight according to our diagram. And one more thing is what uh, string account holder name account holder name. I am writing like what uh, Ram. I am writing like what here Ram. Now after that, I am taking one main method public static void main string. Uh, Array R. Now, I'm creating one object account OBJ one equal to new account and one more object also I'm creating account OBJ two equal to new account. Now, observe here I'm printing the OBJ one data. What is that? System dot out dot println. Now, OBJ one related information. Observe here OBJ one dot Account number and one more thing is what uh, if you want to communicating with the non-static data within the static area, definitely we require what uh, object account name. Yes, the same thing I'm copy and paste here, but this information related to object two. Yes, this is the two and uh, this is what here two and uh, this is also what uh, two. Now let me save this one. Account dot Java all files and I am saving on top of the desktop. Now observe here. Let me compile this program. Open command prompt and I am saving my program on top of the desktop. Cd desktop 
yes after that i am executing i am compiling the program uh, java c account to dot java yes successfully compile it and after that i am executing yes not a problem there is no compiled error and there is no uh, runtime exceptions and there is no runtime error then what happen program wise language specific uh, specification wise and rules and regulations wise and system and semantics wise everything is perfect but the same program if i am using in the real world this is not suitable to real world objects basically java is and what to represent with our language specifications or with our language syntax and semantics we need to represent the real world objects but this is 100 percent is fail in our real world object the reason is there is no chance both the customers having same account number then what should we do we need to resolve if you want to resolve these problems we need to choose the concept like what a constructor we need to choose the concept like constructor that is the main motive of the constructor concept so let me give you a quick review on top of this video constructor is an one special block it will available in the class level and it is holding one specific logic i told you in the initially one specific logic what is the specific logic by seeing this program you can understand what is the specific logic to provide and to initialize the non static data meanwhile of object creation with the help of different values that is what specific logic with the support of different values then we need to choose what here constructor and a constructor name is same as what here class name so i hope you enjoy this video for more videos uh, please subscribe narayan city channel thank you 